What's up guys? I'm LQ. This is the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. And actually, I'm in my classroom right now. That's right. I took some time today to come in, get my class set up for the school year. And uh, thought that while I'm here, have some peace and quiet. No kids running around the house here. Thought that I would take a couple minutes and do a couple reviews. First one I wanted to do today is my spy with dave batista now my spy is um it was originally supposed to go to theaters i remember when the trailers for it first came out and it looked like it was going to be this uh charming funny movie with dave batista kind of at the height of his of his popularity with uh you know when the these trailers were coming out you know you had infinity war you had Endgame, all these were fresh in our minds and this was something that hey this is the star of Guardians of the Galaxy. This is Drax the Destroyer. He's going to be, this is going to be good. Now, he's been in several, you know, he's starred in several movies now. He's even had uh, supporting roles in several movies, um, you know, and a lot of them haven't been very good. You look at like Ex Escape Plan 2 with Stallone, not very good. Um, Stuber, he had a starring role in Stuber. The movie had its funny moments, but it was a train wreck. It wasn't very good. All right, so now we're looking at My Spy. In My Spy, he is a CIA agent who um, is accused of being too physical and too mean. Ugh, he's not smart enough to do this job. He's given one last chance to surveil a family who has ties to a criminal organization. You know, family ties. They, they're not actually criminals themselves. And um, he uh, ends up getting found out by the daughter, who's way, you know, way smarter than... I love the way that they write kids in movies like this. this that's not how kids talk. That's not how kids behave. It's like the, the, the writers never even had kids. <laughs> um, but that's beside the point. Uh, he gets found out, and he ends up developing a relationship with this kid, and eventually the mom, and eventually, you know, we're not spoiling anything here. Eventually, their lives are in danger, and he saves the day. This is a very formulaic movie, but is it good? No, not really. <laughs> it's really not good. Like, I don't know. Um, you know, Dave Bautista, I would love to see him get some meatier roles than this. This just wasn't exceptionally well done now don't get me wrong it had its moments there was some uh sweet moments between him and the him and the girl where clearly he was taking on that that father figure role um there were some funny moments between him and his partner uh and there was a scene with his partner that you know she tries to get into the action and she gets a gun and she drops it and things go haywire. That scene was mildly amusing. But guys, for the most part, it just really wasn't a very good movie. It was extremely formulaic, extremely familiar. We've seen it all before, and we've seen it done better. And that's what frustrates me about movies like this, that movies that are formulaic, movies that, that, um, that you know, are, are genre-specific. You know, this would be an action movie with kids in it. That, I mean, that's what it is. And there's, we've seen lots of movies like that. We just saw one earlier this, this year, uh, Coffee and Kareem. Coffee and Kareem was better than this. It was funnier. It had a better storyline. Um, this one just didn't do anything new. It reminded me very much of like the Schwarzenegger kids movies and, and the, the um, what's it, like the Pacifier with Vin Diesel and Tooth Fairy with The Rock. You know, it just reminded me of those type of lame attempts to broaden your fan base. Dave Batista, man, the kids already like you, dude. <laughs> the kids already like you, man. You dress up like Drax. You're invisible. People like you. I don't know. I just like to see him get better roles in this. this it just wasn't a good movie. It had it had its funny moments. It had its sweet moments, and for that, I'm going to give it a passing grade. But it wasn't particularly good. I'm going to give my spy a D plus, a D plus, not a B plus, a D plus, as in dog. 
Um, it's just really familiar. It's ground that we've walked a hundred times. You know, you can only hike the same trail so many times before you're like, I've already hiked this trail. I want to go hike a new trail. And that's kind of what you feel watching this movie. You feel like I've hiked this trail before. I'm ready to go hike a different trail. That doesn't mean that there isn't some enjoyable moments. You know, maybe you're hiking the familiar trail and, and you see a fox scurry in, in, the, in, the, in the brush. And you're like, hey, I, that, 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 that was entertaining. I've seen it before, but that was entertaining. Same deal here. All right. You've seen these jokes before. You've seen this play out before. There's some funny moments in it. There was actually a couple moments when I legitimately chuckled. I never laughed. Never, like, belly laughed, right? But I chuckled a couple times. So there were some redeeming qualities in this movie. But for the most part, it was just too familiar and too dull to recommend. So I give my spy a D plus. You can catch it for free on Amazon Prime. And, um... I'm glad it's free because I'm glad I didn't spend money on it. But again, I am one person who has one opinion. It's all subjective. Maybe you loved My Spy. Maybe you thought it was the best movie of the year. If you really liked it or if you didn't like it, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this movie. I'd love to hear your take on it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I put out a lot of content. want to make sure you're up to date with what I'm doing. And thank you for being here at the LQ Review, joining me right in this spot where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.